long is he going to toy with me? Then, I'm not thinking straight myself. Oki knows I'm No, he's not. Oh, he's not. Why was I so scared that Sekigahara would steal him? Because you're not being honest with yourself, homeboy. You are not being honest with yourself. God damn, Okino. That was too far for a joke. <sighs> anyway, what was going on with those talking images? If I recall, they said something about being reborn? So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but it does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so... Yeah, I already... I I just want to hit, hit the button and go to school. Ran into Shinin only last time. Let's see who's here this time. You're right on time. Okay, now. Here's the plan. I need to get some information out of the nurse's office. So I need you to distract the school nurse, Morimura. Just make sure she doesn't get to her office before I'm done. Morimura's wearing a big white coat. Can't miss her. All I need is about ten minutes. Hey! You're a lifesaver. Okino's trying to sneak into the nurse's office. So I have to keep Morimura occupied in the schoolyard. She should be wearing a white coat. Oh, that must be her. So can you take care of that? Yes, ma'am. Well, she, uh, she seems like quite a teacher. <laughs> I can imagine the boys have a hard time focusing on class. Now that's done. Wait. Yes? Uh, well, uh, th there was an accident behind the school. A student's been injured. Oh, no. Can you help me get them to the nurse's office? Uh, well, they can't move because they broke their leg. Oh, that's awful. We'll have to call them an ambulance quick. Wait, I mean, uh, th their legs, they scraped their arm. Well, their entire body. They're very scraped. Hmm. Maybe you should come and see for yourself. You don't even go to this school, do you? I know that uniform. You're from Nigakuri High, aren't you? Are you trying to pull pranks on teachers? Maybe. The is up. What year are you? Tell me your name. You're coming with me to the student guidance room. Who's your homeroom teacher? What year are you? Tell me your name. I'm about time for a retreat. There's no way that was 10 minutes. This always helps me relax. Some kind of nostalgia, I suppose. The building still smells like it did back then. Back then, I was just focused on training to pilot the Sentinel. I never imagined I'd end up like this. What do you 
think? I remember my first time seeing it too. The thrill of it all left me speechless. So this is the Sentinel. That's right. Look at those arms. Those legs. It's like an iron giant. A 2,000 ton invincible iron giant at that. Legally distinct. Legally distinct. You see those batteries on the front? Like a battleship's? I don't know much about the technical side, but it uses an electromagnetic field instead of gunpowder. One ton of shells in a single salvo. A ton? That's a lot. They're just like the main batteries on the Nagato. And those new flying bombs equipped on its back? They control their own path. Never miss a mark. How is that possible? It will revolutionize war as we judge. That's how. If all that's true, then it sounds like a gift from the gods. Or something out of a science fiction novel. Professor Doji can tell you the specifics. Apparently, it's based on this technology out of Germany. And I suggest you leave the details to the engineers. All we need to do is strap in and protect our homeland. And if I'm not able to, that duty will fall to you. Aren't there any better candidates among the adults? Why did they turn to students like us? The Sentinel's no ordinary machine. It chooses its pilots. You and I were, apparently, the only viable choices. Hey, you two. Huh. Kiriko-san! Why are you here? This area should be highly restricted. Oh, you know, I'm just delivering documents on the Professor's behalf. It's fine, Kintaro. She's the Professor's daughter. I have permission. Come with me. We'd better start on your sync connection adjustments. Well, the Professor wants to anyway. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> Thank you for passing that along, Kiriko-san. Let's go, Keitaro. Since I never went back, Keitaro should have been made the only Sentinel pilot. But nothing in the history books even mentions him. Maybe they couldn't get the Sentinel ready in time. in Keitaro, in the flesh. Who are you? Do I look that different? It's me, Hijiyama. I never imagined you'd wind up here too. Takatoshi-san? Uh, uh, it's the hair, isn't it? I suppose I can't blame you for not recognizing me. I've been living here for half a year now myself. It's yeah, time to grow. Take a closer look. I swear, it's me. It really is you, Takatoshi-san. Are you hungry at all? Come see where I'm staying. I'll treat you to some yakisoba pan. <laughs> oh no, I'm fine. These days, I'm in the care of Karabe's grandchild. I see. But I'm telling you, you've got to try this yakisoba pan. It's the most delicious food this era has to offer. <laughs> Takatoshi-san, have you had the chance to try any... hamburger? What is this... hamburger? <laughs> I have reason to believe it's the greatest culinary invention in history. You overestimate your burger, my friend. <laughs> I'm here for these two arguing about the better... <laughs> which is the better food. Okino said he didn't want anyone knowing he was here. Best not to go talking about Kiri... Sentinel. What happened to the Sentinel? Well, 
That's actually how I came to this era. What, through the Sentinel? It has the capacity to time travel. Uh, what? So it's true. It really is a weapon from the future. Where is the Sentinel? Somewhere nearby? It is around here, but I can't move it. Shikishima and this era's government caught wind of it too. They've seized the Sentinel. Dear gods. So this is why you disappeared. You came here. What happened after I left? You escaped as an accomplice to Kiriko Doji. At least, that's what all the reports said. Nothing doing! Do you think I'm a spy as well? No chance of that. But, even if you were a spy, you wouldn't face any punishment for it. What do you mean by that? There's nobody left in our time to authorize it. So, we lost the war. Just like in the history books. It's nothing to do with the war. The monsters destroyed everything. What, what do you mean? Explain yourself. Three hours later. Oh, I know, he's actually gonna give the flashback. Okay. Oh, I know. Hold it, Okino. Keitaro was talking about some horde of monsters. I want a real explanation. Hey! This place. Yokisaka Shrine. I think it'd be better to show you instead of trying to explain. So if we go back to the 1940s. So it's true. This shrine held a way to travel across time. You're coming, right? Of course. Then let's get going. Found a way to travel across time. Mm, but did it. But did it. Is it actually traveling across time? Everywhere here. I don't think it is. It's the same thing. To Malson's house should have been around here. Not that you can tell with it like this. It's just like Keitaro said. There's not a soul in the factory, or the bunker. Doesn't look like there's anyone around here, either. You'd think this place was hit by one of the air raids. But there isn't even a single body. No sign of any international aid or intervention. Because Japan wasn't the only one hit. If I had to guess, this is the state of the entire world. stopped that's the question I'm, I'm curious about or the question that I have I should say destroyers that's them then the ones you've been talking about yeah they're all Dimos. destroyers of worlds but weren't they originally created to terraform so like they would need to be destroyed did these monsters eat everyone they don't eat. The people have all been captured. Thanks to a buried UFO. Well, a saucer. A saucer? That's what the Daimos are after. Their goal is to break through to that giant underground saucer. Specifically to get in contact with its tech. That triggers the saucer's shifter, which teleports civilians. As to where they go, or why the Daimos do it, we don't know. Okay. So my mother... There's some answers there's there. a mouse on. These things took them away? Technically, they... Yes. Wait. They also don't if exist. If the world was destroyed in the 1940s, then the land in 1985 should be... It's hitting you too, huh? Does that mean... These are... Parallel worlds? I'm impressed you even know the concept. He used to borrow Keitaro's science fiction novels. At the very least, there's one thing we know for sure. This reality and the other aren't connected by causality. Destroyers. 
Nothing makes sense anymore. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. Just looking at this, it doesn't feel real. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't. Hmm. Because it's not. Wah, wah, wah. All right, I can continue to do more. But I have to use rest. I'm so excited to be getting close to the end of this. This has been such an interesting experience. What am I supposed to do now? If I'd been there, before my homeland lost everything, if I'd fought in the Sentinel, maybe we'd still have some hope left. According to Okino, that chance is long gone. But he might still know something. I feel so powerless. In the end, all I can do is rely on him. I... So the Sentinel? He's telling me about all these things. But even I know this is all over my head. How do I make a difference? Is it even possible? Two more story beats with him. Now, where is Okino? Like the only area that nothing has happened in. Certainly don't take pride in your appearance. That's all I have to wear. 
Do we really have students like you at our school? I've never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. I've never seen you around. Can't mind. Not feeling great? Is that obvious? What happened? I looked at the wrong textbook. I was studying for the wrong subject the whole night. That happens. And of course, the teacher just had to call on me. Yikes. So a total trash fire. Goto is just here. A hundred pencil. Oh, this isn't what it looks like. Please wait. Uh, really, it's all a misunderstanding. Why did he go down like that? I guess it wasn't a misunderstanding at all. story is one of the more obtuse ones, like the, the paths I, I need to take. So I ran into Shinonome. Ooh, you know what? She might be in the cafeteria. But without that extra hundred piece, can't get any Akisoba pen. I just don't want to miss the show tonight. Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. What's the show? It's, uh, Midnight Meow Meow. Uh, I'm just a big fan, you know, back to front. Oh, right. That show with the pop stars. What? Something wrong with that? I mean, it's fine, but... find a way to get Goto away from there, but I don't have anything to, to do or to talk to. Mm. I'm going to be running around in circles for a minute. See if I can give Goto this. I've never seen you around. Can't mind a song.
you all nervous? I just don't want to miss the show for that change. Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. What's the show? It's, really? Uh, yes, really. Just pick up the damn money. Really? What exactly are you... Petting the cat. Maybe he's such a dick. You all nervous? I just don't want. Oh, uh, I was wondering why you wants to show. It's uh, uh oh. just a big fan, you know. Yo, Miwako, what's up? I mean, it's fine, but hold it right there. Go to senpai. Uh, sorry, I remembered something I have to do. Well, why would you not want to talk to Miwako? What's wrong with her? He's gone. Yet. That's a lucky f I need to get Yaki Silva found. about trying to eat yakisoba or not See you at the usual place later. Yeah, I get it. Oh. I'll see you later. Who was that just now? Nobody, okay? It's fine. Um. Oh, right. I should probably tell you. I'll be late getting home again tonight. You've been gone every night for a while now. Where have you been going? Mm. Tokisaka Shrine? You don't need to know. Hey. Oh. Go ahead and get yourself dinner. Don't wait up for me, okay? Kill time for a while. <sighs> Damn, Okino. Is that what this money was for? Just a bribe to appease me? <sighs> no, I'm getting too worked up about this. Damn his allowance. I can spend this all right now.
was Okino planning with that girl? going on with him. I can tell. Hiking. It feels like he's hiding something. Oh, he had a fourth one. Amazing. Oh no. What time is it? I need to hurry over to Tokisaka Shrine. I can't believe I overslept. It's so late. The two of them must be long gone by now. Probably. Well, no choice. I'll wait here and confront them when they return. Ogata. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Because I sure as hell do. Oh, that's right. This is where... Now that I think about it, we find I don't the know how you escaped, body. but... I see how it is. You it's came looking funny for another because, black okay. guy. Try it. Right, 426 is in... Ogata-kun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. Sorry to disappoint. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. What the hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san, but according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? Must be that girl from this afternoon. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went. What? Uh, she mentioned something about it. So this Okino you're looking for, is that Tsukasa Okino? What, you know him? Not exactly. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh... Oh, you don't know either? <laughs> Did you have to take the same hiding spot? It's too hot over here now. Move over there. Shut it. If it's so damn stuffy, then you take a hike. Damn it. Sick of all these mosquitoes. Maybe they didn't even go today. Well, Karabe already went home. But I ain't leaving until I know what's going on here. Same here. The way things are, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. So, this girl, Kisaragi, what kind of relationship do you two have? Uh, she's, you know, a friend. A friend, huh? Okino hasn't been wearing the dress lately. Did he drop it for the sake of getting close to her? Maybe you weren't the person I thought you were, Tsukasa Okino. Shh. They're coming. Huh? How'd he know that? Seriously, I'm not lying. I know I saw that image pop up. I know. The access logs confirm you got in. The question is, why didn't we get a response? Okino! Hey, idiot, don't just jump out! Ogata? What the heck are you doing here? Ah, uh, shut up. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you a little... jealous? That's totally it, right? 
Please. Get jealous is over that you. what this is about? You got jealous? Don't be ridiculous. I was just... I was just worried about you. That's all. <sighs> I want to know how to save place, everyone. Right? If there's well, a way, well, the then tell me. Anyway. Please. I mean, heck, if I understand. Something had I'm doing to my you. best to find the right Moron. answer here. I don't know if it'll be enough to save everyone, but it could make a difference, at least. I'll tell you all I know. It's getting late. You should all go home. Huh? Come on, Oak. You know, you kidding me? Oh, uh, come on. I'll explain everything on the way back. So walk me home, please. Damn it. You got off easy this time, Oak, you know. Now, we'd better get going. To where? The Tower of Knowledge. That's where it all starts. Huh? The hell's the Tower of Knowledge? Central control? Or universal control? What is this? I told you about this before. It's the saucer underground. We're inside the buried UFO. So this UFO, it's somewhere deep underground? Let's see. First, you'd better take a look at this. I know that shoreline. That's Ashitaba City in the middle. And 300 meters below the surface, we have this. The saucer. Around 30 kilometers in diameter. That's gigantic. This is the control room of the different satellite sectors. Interesting. So this is what the Daimos have been chasing? Exactly. The UFO's also in Sector 5, which means it's also buried there in 1945. The people there disappeared when Daimos came into contact with it. Same as in my time. But there's only one left still fully functional, and that's the one in 1985. Mm-hmm. Interesting. We know there's a pattern to the attacks. Forty-year gaps, going chronologically backwards. Then why has nothing happened in 1985? Why skip that year and go straight to my time? That's actually pretty sharp. Especially for you. Hey, now. It's because 1985 is kind of an outlier. Someone in that time has the decode control key. In other words, that'd be the one sending commands to the Daimos. That's why they never mounted a full attack. They just went straight to Sector 5. Sector 4 will be the final target on their list. Which means 1985 will be our last line of defense. So in the end, we can't stop the commands? Well, you already know the situation. We have no idea who's actually summoning them. Even then, killing the source would be meaningless. Someone else would just start broadcasting the signal. Anyone implanted with the inner Lossiter is a candidate. Any one of them can be the Daimos's Wayfinder. So even I might be... Yeah. Even you could be the one luring them to us. So why do we have it in the first place? Who modified us with that inner Lossiter? Is... is that what they wanted? To destroy the world? Like I said, there's still a lot we don't know. Besides which, it's this UFO that's abducting people. <sighs> we don't know much about the Inner Lossiter, but it's general use information technology from 2188. It's got that decode sending out commands, but that's comparatively a very minor part of its function. Wait, minor? That's the part I don't get. Something else is eating up over 80% of the inner Lossiter's processes. Some totally unrelated function. Nothing to do with the decode. I tried to find out what function the system's prioritizing, but... 
I just... I don't know. None of this makes sense. The data throughput of the decode isn't that much. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Daimos, and access three locations at regular intervals. One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO, Universal Control. Might have to do with the reason people disappear. I'd need more data to know for sure. The second point of access is Sector 1. The automated factories in the year 2105. The factories weren't destroyed when they attacked. They're using them to manufacture more Daimos. That's where the Sentinels were created too. And the final access point, by my guess, would be the thing Tomi Kisaragi saw. Some kind of satellite in orbit. And from that. its data banks, they're pulling blueprint data for the Daimos themselves. Even knowing all that, though, are we any closer to saving the world? It's a long shot, but if I can figure out this UFO and the orbital contact point, it's possible we can bring back the people who disappeared. But yeah, it feels like I'm still overlooking something. Something a bit more fundamental. Okay, so I can't finish him until after I finish Goto. Can do his though. Um, hold on, where is so Kisaragi? I can't. Hmm. Oh, well, they said that she saw a satellite in space. Hmm. Well, I can finish up Miura. Maybe finish Sekigahara. Okay. Alright. Yes! At least I would imagine I can finish up Miura. 13% in one story. Yeah, this probably works out. May 1985. Clear skies. Everything looks like it's made of gold. I remember the day the Karabe family took me in. I held Chihiro's hand, and there was a sunset just like this. Chihiro. Chihiro. I don't care who Chihiro says she is. She's still a family. Takatoshi-san, you actually showed up? That sentinel belongs to us, doesn't it? Why wouldn't I show up? <sighs> so that's where it is, huh? Yeah. The sentinel's inside that building. Strange, isn't it? Pretty soon? All this will turn into a battleground. We'll be fighting in a place that's supposedly in the future. This is what we've been training for. Odd circumstances aside, it's an honor to fight using such incredible weapons. Takatoshi-san, if anything happens to me, could you look after Chihiro? Don't be stupid! Whenever you're in trouble, I'll always be there. And if it ever looks grim, I'll be the first to take a bullet for you. And don't get discouraged. No one's going to die. All right. Sentinel. Let's go. We're taking back our Sentinel. That's what I want to hear. There it is. Just oh, as I remember. Great type music. Freeze! Another one. Where did he get the gun from? He's still alive. 
I'm using low power shots, but still. Feels like we've given these guys quite the punishment. I want to thank you, Takatoshi-san. I couldn't have recovered the Sentinel without your help. It's still a little too early to be thanking me. Right. Natsuno-san's already out there fighting. I'd better join her. Save some action for me, all right? I'll catch up to you soon. BJ. A different me from a different time. According to him, I should be able to activate the Sentinel now. Looks so cool when they activate their Sentinels. Natsuno-san, can you hear me? <sighs> Mirakun, thank God. I thought it was all over. Just stay put. I'll be right there. Okay. I have to protect my family. And everyone I hold dear. Even if it costs me my life. Sick. Take your time. Hold on. Where does it branch? Staircase? That doesn't feel Do right. Do you know where you are? Take those when your headaches start to the medicine is a bit. You may experience some temp. About Mr. Ida. Where is he? He's been missing ever since the battle in 2024. You don't remember? About Mr. Answer. Mr. Ida. He didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I forget something that important? Hmm. Are you all right? <sighs> you should get some rest. Where are you going? Stop following me. Okay. Either run away, go to the staircase. Okay. Kisaragis, can I talk to you? <gasps> Is there something I can... Yeah? Do you like sweet surprise? Sure, no, easy. no. What sort of women do you like? Well... I... What do you do? I think this is the right way. Oh, yeah. Staircase. But I. Senpai? Are you alright? This isn't right. I just took some. Who are you? Come on, Senpai. It's me, Shu Amiguchi. Amiguchi? I don't know you. Leave me alone. Senpai. I've never seen him before. But then, why does he seem so familiar? You should probably go... I'm fine. I just need to take my... See?
There's probably nothing here. Empty. I guess they're done selling. Huh. My head, it hurt. I gotta take these so frequently. It's kind of gross. It's empty. That was a lot. I need to get more. The nurse's office should have some. That girl. Shinonome, what are you doing? What? Those black suits, they're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? Four Eyes has something on you. That's why you've been forced into being a spy for him? Four Eyes? Tetsuya Ida, from the Special Investigations Unit. <laughs> Mr. Ida? But why would he... You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here? In the science room? Can you remind me? Gucci's not here. Shit, we left him. Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. Uh. But you having feelings for another girl? I can't accept that. Mr. Ida, you were just going to throw us aside. Like nothing. Also, you could have a do-over with her. Shinonome kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. <sighs> You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. Stun mode deactivate. <sighs> Wait, Shinonome kun. Goodbye, Mr. Ida. Yo. I was not expecting that. So, do you remember now? No. There's no way. I shot him? Yep, then you booked it out of there. Anyways, Four Eyes wasn't budging. I had no choice but to call in the black suits. Is Mr. Ida, is he okay? How would I know? I haven't had any contact with him since. No. <sighs> I couldn't have. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. Might even be dead. I still don't really understand. Why'd you do it? I saw... a recording. A recording of what? No. Stop. I don't want to remember. No more. I don't want to... There's no time. I need to hurry. I, need I don't to actually care if she wants to remember or not. Where did I leave off? I want to remember. Accessing Mr. Ida's research. Okay, log 3214. And the next one is... Research on AI? Oh, the data's gone. Strange. The log just ends here? The most recent log is from three years ago. Anything more recent than that has been deleted. Oh. 
make sure I'm hitting them in the battery. And I have my gun. So I want them to be closer. That's weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. Surveillance footage. The surveillance footage from when I came here last. Found it. Hmm. Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. So they're the ones that opened the passageway. Okay. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage, I'll find out who deleted the locks. I love that she can sit here and do all this for like 15, 20 minutes, and yet I can't go more than two screens that I have to take goddamn pills. Don't make no sense. I apologize for having to use this body. I did not anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. I'm sorry. He made that body just for me. No, I'm the one who let my guard down. I'll make you another, right away. You should make bodies for the others, instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware. You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the Compatible. By putting our bodyless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be. The UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Ikuma, look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi, everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No, absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Yudakun. Tommy. Please, put me into a sentinel. I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, none of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. What if we just start over from the beginning? From that day. Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. Interesting. All right, so I have to fight wave 10 for her. Wave 10 for him. She's done. I have to finish Juro's thing for her. Uh, I can unlock him. Wave 10, wave 10. Okay. All right, I'm gonna finish up Sekigahara, and then I'll probably call it good for you. Understood. We'll get off here. But the SIU building is still a little further ahead. That's okay. 
This thing will stick out if we bring it too close. Yeah, you're right. In that case, I'll lead you the rest of the way. Let's go. She had no choice but to cooperate with the SIU. She says she knows who issues orders to the black suits. Apparently, it's Ida. Chihiro Mori... Iori Fuyusaka. Despite having lost my memories, she continues to help me with an open heart. I just... I'm not sure how to reciprocate. I gathered some information from Natsuno's unit. And I came across some interesting details. Apparently, I had accepted a particular job to assassinate Chihiro Morimura. A very interesting phase. Let's head to the top of this overpass. We can get a good view of the SIU building from up there. Wanna go check it out? Yeah. One's the SIU building. See that over there? It's the building next to the police station. Which floor? Top. Got it. I'll take it from here. You're staying behind. Like hell I am. All you're gonna do is slow me down. Unless you want to take a straight bullet to the head. But I don't think you do. H hang on a second. Someone's sending out orders to me in the black suits. I'm not sure who, though. But the orders are coming from the SIU building. I thought you said it was Ida. He's... dead. I'm pretty sure Shinonome shot him. Uh, I suppose I'll find out when I get there. haven't you? I'm nothing if not thorough. It might interest you to know that I have a guest with me. <sighs> Miss Iori Fuyusaka. Now then, why don't you come by so we can talk? And hurry, I'd like to give you a proper welcome. Backed up your data. 
Next time when the world resets, you'll still have your memories intact. There's only one thing left for you to do. Obey Tetsi and Ida's orders. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Sounds like a real moron. He clearly has no clue what's going on. I see I'm left with no other choice. I'd long anticipated your betrayal. Besides, it's already too late. No matter what you do, this is the end for you. Once we arrive in the next world, I promise to take very good care of you all. Now you can die in this world with nothing to fear. No! Out of my way. Uh. Relax. You get to die first, Sekigahara. So you don't have to watch. Morimura. <clears throat> she abandoned the idea of starting over again. And she became obsessed with Operation Aegis. Don't you want to know why? Woohoo! All I remember clearly, I received Miura back in Sector 3. You're the one who gave him to me. And I remember recording the footage you just played, too. I made sure to back up all my memories. Now I remember everything. Hell yeah. Important information. Are you okay? No. This is bad. There's nowhere to run. The black suits are monitoring major streets. We're completely surrounded. Oral NM. I don't have much time left. That's why I left myself a message. I'll be able to check it using the message service. We can utilize Operation Aegis to protect this world. If we do, we'll be able to survive even if we fail. Though we won't have much of a world left. You look like you're getting worse. Have you taken your pills? I'm all out. They weren't even helping anyway. There's nothing I can do. After I lose my memories, I imagine I'll come to you for help. When that time comes, give this to me. What are these numbers? They're for the message service. I use the one from this era. Understood. Operation Aegis. If we use the Aegis system, all the terminals will be sealed. Then the city will be cut off from universal control. There won't be any hope of restoring order at that point. That's why everyone disappears. We need to keep at least some of the terminals open. We can't. The enemy will target any open terminals. And then what? We give up on this world and try again next time? I'm afraid that isn't an option either. There won't be a next time. I had a look at the logs from 2188. I've discovered a way to link to the satellite. A satellite? It's not from this world. There's a satellite orbiting the real world. From it, I learned more about the mechanics of this world. And it turns out we don't get as many tries as we want. The stability of this area is at its breaking point. We can't fail again. If we do, the entire facility will be reset. And Sector Zero will be lost. What Sector Zero? I know I've heard of it before. Seems like your symptoms are becoming more severe. All right, listen well. As you know, there are five different sectors. However, there exists one more unique sector. It doesn't take up any space, and there's no interior to see. That's Sector Zero. It's an evacuation site that's unaffected by loops. Normally, you can send your data there using the shifter. That's what allows you to continue if the world resets. That's right. Ida did say that was the way to escape to the next world. Yes, but this time, Sector Zero will cease to exist as well. We won't be able to loop again. This is our last chance. 
So what we're doing in the combat sections is activating the Aegis system. We are attempting to do this. That's why we are sealing off all of the terminals. So without Sector Zero, understand. the world won't be recreated? If the Aegis system is activated, yes. We'll still be here, though we'll be left behind in a world of chaos. If what you're saying is true, why keep it all a secret? Because... Lord of another world. Sekigahara-kun. Tell me, why did you erase the logs? Because I had to. I couldn't let anyone find out about them. There's quite a lot that transpires in 2188. The Earth is a very different place. Do you want to know what happens? Can you tell me? Or is it... Okay. Hey, Seki Gahara. I've already done my research on you. You're the one who was hired to kill me. In case you couldn't tell, there isn't much left of humanity. Just the ten people in this little colony. It's a bit fruitless to kill for money at this point. Don't you think? I've done my research on you as well. And I'm very thorough when I research my targets. There's nothing you can hide from me. How menacing of you. Intimidate me all you want, but you're not leaving that room. Professor Chihiro Morimura. In order to raise research funds for Project Ark, you partnered with several questionable organizations. You then sold nanotechnology on the black market. And that, that's the source of the infection on the surface. <sighs> I didn't intend for any of this to happen. Your voice is trembling. Can't say I blame you. No one will believe a word you say. Oh, I don't plan on telling anyone. This is for me. I never want to forget this moment. The moment humanity's traitor stares death in the face. What was that? That was the bomb I planted. Oh, the power generator? Are you insane? We have to repair it right away. We'll lose life support if we don't. When I take a job, I finish it. It can't be. The lock to your room's been disengaged. Just hang tight, Professor. I'll be seeing you soon. Humanity was wiped out by the nanomachine infection. And it was all my fault. <sighs> Sekigahara-kun! You're in bad shape. At this rate, you'll... Huh? Are you lost, little girl? What are you doing alone in a place like this? I guess it makes sense that you don't remember me. I was just a baby when we last saw each other, after all. There's only need for one Chihiro Morimura. You're... And that's me. Yo! Morimura said quite a bit before she died. If you're going to lie, at least put some effort into it. No matter. I'll simply ask Miss Fuyusaka here what she knows. After I finished you off, of course. Sector Zero. <laughs> That's where you backed up your data, right? A good precaution, but that isn't gonna save you. <sighs> Morimura gained access to the satellite of the real world. That's where she learned about the next reset and that it's going to be different from any other. Satellite of the real world. It's not just this world at stake anymore. If we fail to defeat the Kaiju again, the real world will be impacted as well. That includes the facility that sends us back there. When the facility itself is recreated, there won't be a Sector Zero anymore. 
Whether we go with Operation Aegis or not, there won't be a next time. And no one will be able to loop again. Satellite. Tony, is this what you meant? It can't be. But... Satellite. Seki. Go home. Hey, are you alright? Excellent. Okay, so that answered a lot of questions. 